Good morning. I'm back on the trail here, feeling good. The rain has passed, so I'm not gonna have to deal with any of that today, though I'm sure the mud will be uh, very present. So I think I'm probably only gonna do like 10 miles today. There's a nice little lake camping spot. So that sounds kind of nice. Uh, my pack's also pretty heavy, so we'll see how I feel after doing some of these climbs. But uh, yeah, the weather's gonna be perfect today. It's gonna be beautiful, so I'm looking forward to what the day has to bring. It is 10.30 a.m., about five miles in. So I'm about five miles from Griffith Lake, which is a camping area. And I may just stay there, I don't know. Um, my shoes got pretty swamped. Impossible to avoid the mud and, and all the water on the trail from the heavy rain yesterday. Um, so I may cut it early so that I have time to dry my shoes. And it's also a nice swimming area and it could be a nice place to relax for the day. So we'll see. It is approaching three o'clock in the afternoon. I am descending Baker Peak, some cool little views back there. And I uh, decided not to stay at Griffith Lake. Just felt like I uh, should do more miles. Got there pretty early and there is also no water there and the pond is pretty brown. So didn't really want to drink from that. And um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna head to the Lost Pond Shelter, which is like two miles ahead. And I may even keep going after that. I'm not really sure. Just gonna see how I feel. It's around 4.30 right now. Did about 15 miles today. I am at the Lost Pond Shelter and I'm just gonna hang here for the night. Um, gonna cook up some dinner pretty soon. 
and just chill and enjoy the beautiful day. Good morning, it's 8 a.m. Another chilly night last night. I am anxiously awaiting my cold weather sleeping bag. So that's gonna be meeting me at the Yellow Deli in Rutland in a couple days. Um, so yeah, it's been a cold sleeping, but um, not too bad. It's not like I'm in danger or anything. It's just a little chilly. So my plan for today, I'm gonna to be doing about 15 miles, around the same as yesterday. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Terrain doesn't look too hard, so it's gonna be pretty relaxing. Hopefully the mud has dissipated a little bit. I tried to dry my shoes out yesterday, but there wasn't really enough sun to do that, so still a little damp but I'm going to try to keep them clean today try to keep the mud out so we'll see wish me luck and uh, it's gonna be a good day I'm here at Little Rock Pond. Uh, I think it's like 10.30 in the morning. Um, I'm at mile five for the day. So definitely enjoying my, my day here, jumping off this ledge here. Uh, it's just a beautiful lake. It's all spring fed, so the water's super clear and it's nice and cool. Today has just been perfect, perfect hiking weather. I'm in no rush to get out of here, just drying all my stuff out and uh, really just enjoying the spot, super cool. I am back on the trail here. It's exactly 12 o'clock. Spent like an hour and a half back there. Jumped off the ledge a few more times. Just enjoyed the sun. Dried some things out. My shoes are totally dry now, thankfully. Um, got like 10 more miles to go. 
and it's just a beautiful day and really having a good time. It is approaching 4.30 in the afternoon. I just filled up my water to max capacity. Then I'm gonna climb up to this ridge about a mile. And apparently there's some stealth sites up there and I might get a good view. Good morning, it is 8 a.m. It's about 57 degrees here, so a little chilly this morning, uh, but it feels nice, it's clear. Enjoying a nice warm bowl of oatmeal here, so that's a nice little pick-me-up on the chilly mornings. Um, so my plan is to do 16 miles today, where I will be camping near the summit of uh, Killington, which I'm pretty sure is the second highest peak in Vermont. Uh, we may get some storms later this afternoon, but you never know out here in the mountains. And it's not really supposed to warm up at all today. It's going to be kind of like low 60s, so it'll be a perfect hiking weather. And that is how you dry a rain fly.
It is approaching two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm eight miles in for the day. Um, I'm not really sure what the storms are doing. I can't get service where I'm at. Um, so I'm about three miles from a shelter at the base of the climb up to Killington. So I may stop there and kind of just see what it's looking like. It's been looking a little iffy, so I just don't really want to climb through a storm. And uh, so we'll see. I'm going to give it, give it some time, see if the storms hit and then maybe go up. We'll see. So that back there was a ghost pipe. So it's actually kind of like nature's Novocaine. I've been having a toothache the past few days, probably due to my high sugar diet. And it's also been a problem area before. So it's kind of just started hurting again. Uh, gonna have to see a dentist after the through hike. But basically that plant has numbing qualities and also antiseptic qualities. So hopefully it could help. Like it, it feels like I like ate a little bit of Novocaine. So like I chewed right where the uh, toothache is happening and it definitely helped. You know, it feels like uh, sort of numb and I'll check in with you later and let you know how I'm feeling. Man, I can't believe only 500 more miles to go. Really does go quick. And uh, it's just been an awesome time so far. Really grateful for the opportunity to be out here. All right, it's approaching five o'clock now. I decided to cut the day short a little bit. I uh, decided not to climb up Killington today, so I'll have a 10 mile day tomorrow in the town. Found a cool little camp spot here, right by the river. Pretty sure I saw what I think might've been a river otter. I'm not really sure uh, if they have those here, but looked like an otter, would be pretty cool that's what it was it ran away real quick as soon as it noticed that I saw it so I didn't really get a super good look at it um, yeah it's a cool little spot out here and I'm just gonna chill mm -hmm. 